Next up, uh, we want to talk a little bit about reporting. As most of you know, we have two different UIs, an older UI that, that's uh, a bit like AdWords, and then a newer UI, which is the AdX-specific UI. Over time, we've been pulling more and more functionality into the AdX-specific UI. Eventually, we're going to deprecate uh, the, the old AdWords UI for AdX buyers. And so one of the key things that hadn't existed previously was reporting in the AdX UI. With Query Tool, we now have a very robust reporting tool that allows you to do much more than you were able to do previously in the old AdWords style uh, UI. The tool is currently in beta. I think we have about 120 buyers on the beta. And this will go to general availability for all AdX buyers probably mid next week. So uh, mid to late next week, everyone should see this in their AdX by side account. If uh, it's not already in there. The, the structure of this tool is a little bit different from what you're used to in the AdWords style UI. Instead of seeing reporting broken out at the ad group and campaign level, instead what we allow you to do is define a report from scratch. So you can create uh, your own queries based on exactly what you want to see, and you're no longer tied to reporting at the ad group or campaign level as you have been previously. When you create a query, you can specify a number of different properties. Uh, you can specify filters to, to, to limit the amount of data that we're using in your query. You can specify dimensions. So uh, we'll see in, in the next uh, couple screenshots, but the dimensions you can think of as um, slices that are applied to, that, to the data. So this could be web properties, countries, creative IDs, app names. And you can pick from uh, uh, several different dimensions. And you can run reports that include multiple dimensions. Uh, if you want to see reporting for your purchases by country for different app names, you can see that. And then for each combination of app name and country, you'd be, able to, you'd be able to see reporting data. And you can layer in multiple dimensions. And then finally, uh, we support several different metrics. This is the actual output. Typically, what most folks are interested in are uh, impressions or CPM or, or, or cost. I don't see cost on here, but it's not a metric that we support. And over the next couple quarters, we're going to be adding more dimensions and more metrics to what you already see here. So there's a lot of robust functionality. This is what the output will look like when you run a query. Obviously, it's going to differ based on your data and which dimensions and metrics you select. But in this particular query, you'll see that the dimensions are listed on the left-hand side. So it looks like in this query, um, domain and ad size was four dimensions. And the metrics are listed um, to the right of those. So ad impressions, clicks, ad CTR, advertiser cost, CPM. These are all metrics that someone wanted to see in their reporting. So based on which dimensions and which metrics you select, you'll uh, be able to customize your output. And then at the very top, you can see there's a scorecard with some high-level info. And if we go to the next, next slide. So when you're, when you're constructing your query, so this is, this is actually before you get to the query output that we just saw. This is actually what it looks like to construct a query. The, um, the filters are up above, they're off the screen. The report dimensions are listed sort of in the middle of the screen, and the uh, report metrics are listed at the bottom. On the right-hand side, you can see that there's campaigns, ad group names, creative sizes. You, you're allowed to basically drag uh, the different metrics, or, uh, the different dimensions around and, and uh, adjust the sequence in which they're nested. Um, so this is what it looks like to create a query. Um, you also notice on the top nav, um, this is labeled as query tool uh, in your Addicts by Side UI. So for anyone who already has access to this, that, that's where you go. And then if you want to see what the report's going to look like before you actually run the query, on the button that says Run Report, it's actually a, a menu you can click and select Preview Report Layout. So before we actually run the query, and, and sometimes people want to run very large, sophisticated queries with lots of dimensions, lots of metrics. If you just want to see what the, the layout will look like to check before actually submitting your query, uh, you, can, you can see the layout. And if you click on that, it will give you essentially a, a dummy table, which is the preview that shows the dimensions and metrics 
you get as output. And then if you actually want to run the report, close the preview, click on report, and then you'll see the actual output that you asked for. So that's Query Tool. It's currently available for about 120 folks who are already on the beta. It will be available to all ad expires by about mid next week. You can use this to run much more detailed, sophisticated reports than what you've had access to previously. And over the summer, we're going to add more dimensions and metrics. So give it a try. And uh, as, as the screenshot here shows, uh, it's in the top nav on the far right hand side called Query Tool. For more training videos and resources, please visit the Ad Exchange Buyer Academy on our Help Center via the case sensitive link displayed here. Thanks for watching. Yeah.